When we last left off, Deke and Sarah went to get a centrifuge from the local community college. They found it, and they also found trouble. I'm Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin. Let's continue Days Gone. It's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Oh, we cleared out a bunch of these freakers and some of these uh, soldiers that were here just messing around. Not exactly messing around, but I guess they came to cause some trouble. Sarah and uh, Deke brought it. She's running with the centrifuge. That was the whole point of this mission. What are you doing? Why are you hiding there? Deacon, stay down. Why? Yeah, got it. Noobs. <laughs> Damn it. Mm, I see why. Oh crap. No, I gotta take that guy out. Oh, snap! That was a great shot on Sarah's part. I can just burn him out. It's clear. Let's move. Okay. Okay. Man, that was a great shot. Smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Let's go, Deke. Crap, it's more of those guys. Where's that? Oh. 
That's the guy I was looking for. I think that's the last of them. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to you. You didn't throw not one smoke grenade. Not one, Sarah. Absolute punk. Get out here. Okay. Don't tell me okay, Deke. Don't treat me like I'm being a drama queen, bro. Let's get some more bullets here. There it is. Oh, wow. It's just a whole box there, too. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <sighs> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, let's uh, run. happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, over here. Got it. Ah, oh, they blew it open for me. How nice of them. That is just wild. They still have some of the banter they do. Or that they had. It's just things are like kind of weird now. They kind of have to keep everything secret. If they don't, they could get in trouble. Can I say thank you? No. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Look at them all bloody and shot up. I have like so many of these skills it's crazy I'm trying to get them all obviously there are a lot of good ones though let me see what okay you can't be replaced that's the next thing and then what is this another Colonel Garrett and I think I want to do that. See hey, what else what this colonel here? has. What do you mean, what am I doing here? What are you doing here? Let me see. Here we go. This is what I kept passing the mechanic Deacon. shop. Uh, hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Okay, no, I, 
I didn't mean nothing. Just, just us grunts here, right? Shoot the shit. Yeah, we'll show some respect. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I didn't mean nothing. Corporal St. John, a Deke. See you around. This really has to be frustrating, Deacon. Honestly. Corporal St. John. That he can't talk to or treat his wife like they're married. That's kind of crazy. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need the dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Well, oh, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Rasbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. Huh. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, 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 no. I don't think so. <laughs> Coronel, no I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, is I true. can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. <laughs> but again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Are they gay? I don't know. Part of me kind of thinks sometimes that they are. I thought the doctor was for sure, honestly. The end is nigh. Captain Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. Yeah. Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war as we take the fight to the freaks, as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are angels. And they will gather out of his kingdom all evil. And throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place yeah. there will be weeping the and heck? wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels. And we are coming. Why does anybody follow this guy? Like, this dude is obviously mentally unstable. And I don't just mean that because of, like, the whole religious thing. Again, you know, the religion, I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind the, the whole religion thing. That's not what's got me tripping. What has me tripping is just the way he uses it as a crutch. Shit. 
uses it as a crutch for everything. It's like really wild. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could you check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> How do you think I would learn? <laughs> I think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Got an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... That's what you needed. Let me know when you're ready to go. That is so crazy. Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good, with Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. This is... Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. See, why is he wearing the ring? I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's shot. Corey has my ring. And I want to know why. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny, MC? I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? <laughs> Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Yeah, man. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, I'll never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's 
wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day <laughs> staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Well, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did <laughs> give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remember going. Figured I'd look you up Get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Little of column A, little of column B. We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. Uh, Iron Mike told you to stay away, though. You need your help to move that out of the way. <laughs> My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um... Could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. Yeah, Lewis or what? you and Boozer only yeah, sure. mass murdered a metric butt ton of them. <laughs> Good idea to say that to Sarah, though. be a tight squeeze Jesus no wonder everyone gave up their cars this is nothing there's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun sounds horrible I seem worse but yeah hey this looks familiar yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Oh, we're not going to be anywhere near... Yeah. Wow. I thought we were going to go to Iron Mike's camp. I guess not. We're only going where they need to for, uh, for the mission, I guess. And we remember this uh, zone from uh, one of the flashbacks. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. All right, the power.
power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Ari? Artificial intelligence response interface. Nice. <clears throat> oh my god. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. That is a lot of food. That could help out a lot of people. Oh, it's those clothings. Those things are so nasty. like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. And shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. That is pretty crazy. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? 
Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Guess so. It's kind of weird. I destroyed them all. God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Hmm. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Hmm. Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Makes sense. What didn't make sense is that you said that you guys would be all right as long as you were quiet, but you yelled at the, uh... Here, this is it. At the camera. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. That was the first thing I thought. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> once or twice, he says. I don't know about that. Telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the Renicop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed <laughs> since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? What? Down. Mother of fuck. You were saying? Yeah. This world is tough than anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point of that. Alert. I'll stay up here Alert. and cover the fire. This Do whatever you can to distract them. I'll send you when it's clear. Man, I was hoping that I could like shoot that down. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn sleepers? Voice is driving me fucking crazy. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. So wait, this guy, he just survived all this time with, like, these other, like, rent-a-cops? They clear. just took over? Coming. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. We gotta get Police up these stairs and through the sky bridge. Yeah, and you are running around. Oh, shit! Stay down! It should have hurt! Keep it up! We got him! No, no! We gotta move! Alert. Personnel to the maintenance building. Uh, uh, 
clear. There we go, and I killed all your stupid speakers. Or I thought... There we go, now I killed all your stupid speakers. Ooh, a bottle. ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Blow it up, babe. Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Override. Security protocol Alpha seven six one has been overridden. Oh God! Shut the fuck up, already. Alert. Alert. <laughs> they must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah. This time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Where'd you come from? Hey, My mom. Hey! Alert. Alert. Shit. This is Christ. level They're four alive. alarm. So is he. There's more of them. I see him. Man, that guy made a splatter. Open it up, Sarah. Let's go. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. <laughs> Well, ready? Jim, wait! Security personnel to the maintenance Well, building. like you said, a lot's changed. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. It's clear in here. Same here. That wasn't even right. I remember taking this photo. Huh. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the entrance of the building. Yeah, let them wait. Come on, let's get this. Come on, let's try the door. Let's do it. Come on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Again. Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, <laughs> like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Alert. Over Alert. here. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire. Attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here. I'm gonna take it by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Huh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Alert. 
What are you doing, Sam? Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID five four two nine zero zero nine. You got that? Four two nine zero zero nine. Is that right? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, these guys messed up. Ready? Yep. You got it? Here. I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Go, go, go. If I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Deacon Lee St. John, ID 5429009. Good morning, Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research She's Iron Facility. This is your have first to go down like this. Please. Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Okay, here we go. Oh, what the hell with you? You should have left me at the chance! Pull it back. Security personnel to the maintenance building. That's the last one. Deadly force is authorized. Where the hell is Jim? <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring him to you. <laughs> Said hands. All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh shoot. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? We just could take the risk. The risk of what? Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. What are you afraid of? I hope you know what you're doing. Why were you so afraid? Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. That was weird. That's really out of her character. And that's what Deacon is noticing now. That really was out of her character. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I should have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow 
wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Hmm. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit. And that there are billions of dollars at stake. And to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system. He got behind the firewall. He told me that this was some sort of classified project okay. or something. I classified don't know. Classified project. Just he slow wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I, don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. Okay. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter he was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet oh my god and two days later two days later everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home and a week later two and a half billion people were dead sarah this isn't this couldn't be your fault i mean you couldn't have stopped them. you How don't could understand you have it's it's the research my research was a part of this they, they used me. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. So now that all kind of makes sense. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's that? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Unreal. Unreal. All the stuff that has gone on so far that we've seen, this is a lot to take in. A lot. Anyway, that's all the time we have right now. Next time we'll see what goes down. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs> Come <laughs> on.